Hello, I'm Margaret Eagles from Nest of Quilts. Today I would like to show you how to make a patchwork block using the freezer paper method of foundation piecing. One of the great things about foundation piecing is you don't have to cut your fabric to the size and shape of each piece within the block. As long as the fabric is big enough to cover the piece and seam allowance within the block, it's perfect. The first thing you need to do is check that the pattern you have chosen can be foundation pieced. What does that mean? With foundation piecing, each seam has to be a straight line and each piece needs to be sewn to the next in a logical order. Next, you need to needle punch your pattern. To do this, you can either draw your pattern directly onto the matte side of your freezer paper or do as I have done, place the printed pattern on top of the freezer paper, mat side up and secure with a pin. You can needle punch up to about five pieces of freezer paper at one time. If you are doing multiples, I suggest you staple the freezer paper pieces together on the outer edges. Now, to do the actual needle punching. I keep an old needle for this job, so I don't blunt my current needle. So change your needle to the old one, take out the upper thread and remove the bobbin. Now sew along all sewing lines on your pattern. Your foundation pattern is now ready, so let's get some fabric and get started. Change back to your good needle and thread the machine both top and bottom. With your freezer paper pattern, shiny side up, place your first piece of fabric right side up over block one, ensuring there is at least a quarter of an inch of fabric beyond your needle punch lines. Press fabric, no steam, so it sticks to the freezer paper. Pin in place for added security. Fold the freezer paper pattern back on itself on the needle punch line as shown in the photo. Trim any excess fabric back to a quarter inch seam allowance. Lay fabric piece two right side up on your work table and lay pattern on top lining up the fabric edges as per the photo. Sew along the edge of the freezer paper taking care not to catch any with the needle. Flip piece two over and press onto freezer paper. Continue following pattern numbering until you have finished the block. Press well and trim back a quarter of an inch from the outer needle punch lines of your pattern giving you a quarter inch seam allowance. Remove pin and gently peel freezer paper from the fabric. This pattern can be used over and over again until you feel it has lost its stickiness. I hope you have some fun with this method of foundation piecing. It gives lovely accurate points and crisp seams. It's great for blocks such as double wedding rings, Flying Geese, New York Beauty, Log Cabin. Lots of possibilities ahead. Enjoy.